All right, today this is our division reteach. So we struggled a little bit on dividing, and so we're just going to refresh our memories on some strategies that are going to help us be successful when dividing. So it says Sonia loves to serve as a topping on, on at her store. That doesn't make sense. She has a total, I'm guessing she loves to serve granola as a topping. I forgot to type the word granola. Sorry about that, guys. She has a total of 47.5 ounces of granola. So it graciously tells us that this is the total. So I'm going to box it. And I'm going to label it as total. And the good news is anytime we have total, we are dividing. So they already have told us we're dividing just by knowing that it is the total. Again, I knew it was the total because it told me so. Then it says, if each customer gets 2.5 ounces of granola on their yogurt, how many customers can she serve? So we're going to take our total of 47.5 and we're going to divide by 2.5. And again, you could write it as a fraction, 47.5 divided by 2.5. I always like to check to make sure I can't cross any zeros off. And this is a great way to label. So my top number is my cowboy or my first number is my cowboy. And immediately I can see, uh-oh, I do not have a whole horse. If I don't have a whole horse, I have to move my decimal. So I'm going to move my decimal from in the middle to the back by doing one hop. And I have to make my hop match. So if I did one hop in that one, I have to do one hop in that one. And now I'm going to rewrite my numbers. So I have 47.5 or 475 divided by 25. And again, that first number is my cowboy. So he's gonna go in the house. So once he goes in the house, he's gonna take off his boots and hang up his hat. And we're gonna set the table to keep ourselves organized. And we're gonna put 25 outside. If you need to use our top bottom chart strategy, please do that. Okay, that's a very successful way to divide. So remember on the top, we're counting by ones. And on the bottom, we're counting by 25s. All right, and I'm ready to divide. Can 25 people sit in four chairs? No. Can 25 people sit in 47 chairs? Yes, one time. I subtract and I have... 22 left over. I bring down my five. Can 25 people sit in 225 chairs? Yes, but I'm going to have to keep doing my top bottom chart here. So that's 200. So 225 would be nine times. I zero out. And 19 is how many servings of yogurt she could make with her granola. So again, 19 servings. So big reminders for dividing. Remember that anytime you have total, we are going to divide. They told us total. Remember, anytime you're dividing, you need to make sure that there are no decimals in your horse. If there are, you need to make matching hops in both numbers. And then you need to set up your house, making sure that your cowboy gets inside. When he gets inside, make sure he has a big, bold decimal and he sets the table so we stay organized. And again, if you need the assistance of a top bottom chart, you can utilize that. All right, so that is your division reminders. Go practice.